knowledgeable. Trust Zia Abbas. Buy low and sell high with Zia Abbas. Hi viewers, I'm Zia Abbas. You're watching Buy Low and Sell High. In today's episode, we will have three guests. The first guest would be Amin Nurani, Chartered Accountant from ABN Corporation. We're going to take Amin's opinion today about real estate investment and why he thinks that real estate investment is one of the best investments if you compare it with the rest of the investments, right? And most of the rest of the investments are intangible investments. So let's see what Amin says. And then the second guest is Elliot. Elliot always come with a lot of surprises, with a lot of good uh, products, real estate products, openings, high rise, low rise. So he's going to walk through us and then show all of us that what kind of uh, real estate projects are in pipeline in the near future. I believe that is also good with a lot of you guys to understand ahead of time that if you are planning to invest, what sort of things you have to see. And it might be one of the part of your due diligence to consider. Let's go to the first guest, I mean Nurani, stay with us. Buy low and sell high with Zia Abbas. Viewers, I'm sitting with Amin Nurani, uh, Chartered Accountant from ABN Corporation. Usually, when you ask any real estate agent what is the best investment to invest in, they always say real estate. But today, I'm going to ask this question from Amin. Hi, Amin. How are you? How are you, Zia? What is the best investment to invest in? Um, Zia, there are many types of investments, right? Um, active, passive, real estate, stocks, bonds. Personally, I like uh, real estate and uh, for a very good reason and the name itself tells that it is a real state and it is not a fake state. state. That's what it is, right? The reason why I like this one is, is tangible, right? It is, it is controllable. That's what you control your investment rather than anybody else is controlling. Same like a shares, stock, bonds, you know that how much the game has been played uh, for that kind of an investment, right? And the control is not in your hand. With this investment, it is in, under your control. So that is basically, it is the general uh, view of the real estate. However, there are also lots of tax advantage on this uh, real estate. The first and foremost one is that you can claim CCA on that one. That is the capital cost allowance. Okay. That reduces your rental income substantially. And at the, about at the end of the day, you don't have to pay any taxes for that particular. Uh, you can basically, you have, you have to defer. Usually you defer the taxes until you sell that investment. And besides that, there are many other expenses you can also claim under rental income. And that is the interest costs, the, uh, the condo fees, the repair and maintenance, the accountant fees, the management fees. So these are all the expenses which you can deduct out of the rental income. And after deducting especially the CCA, and that is your choice, you can uh, you don't have to pay any uh, taxes. Usually you don't have to pay any taxes. So that is the biggest advantage. However, when you sell that investment, at that point in time, they recapture the CCA, whatever you have claimed. and there is a tax uh, calculation at that point in time and you have to pay the tax on the capital gain rather than on on the normal business income so that's basically the tax advantage of it however there are many other advantages on that one and the one of the the biggest um, uh, tax strategy on that one is that people invest on an rrsp yeah. and and that is on a regular basis they invest it uh, recently, I advised one of the client, um, he has a real estate which is coming up and he is planning to sell. There's a big capital gain impact on that one if he sells that. I told him and he's planning to sell his capital, uh, in his investment after five years. I told him, do not contribute anything at this point in time to RSP. Why? Because in that situation, he will have a room of RSP, big amount around hundred thousand dollars, and the capital gain which is going to have is around the, in the in the same vicinity. He can easily offset that capital gain against his RSP. The tax bracket at that point in time is going to be much higher rather than his capital his tax uh, tax rate at this point in time, which can be twenty twenty five percent. 
on his on his uh, salary income so that is these are the strategies available through the through the capital uh, gain of the real estate so that's number one second thing is is also give another big uh, tax uh, opportunity of the refinancing that if the market value goes up for that particular real estate he can refinance the property by keeping for example if he can right, right now his uh, equity on that capital uh, on that investment is let's say 40 to 50 percent he can refinance it for another uh, bank requires minimum 20 percent less only for the argument's sake he can take his 30 percent out of that equity without paying a single dime and you can use that 30 percent or whatever the equity is above 20 percent for any other investment so that's another opportunity um, uh, the real estate provides so these are some of the, the advantages which i personally like about it and these are the real advantages compared to any other investment although there are different opportunities also available for the different uh, different op uh, different investments Another thing is um, the market value of the real estate always goes high because there is a scarcity of land, right? Yes. So that is another beauty of it. Yes, there is going to be ups and downs over the period of time. But at the end of the day, if you see, compare your real estate right now from the real estate which was 100 years back, the real estate market has gone up, right? So over the period of time, it has gone. Another thing which also provides is hedging. If there is an inflation, the rental also goes up. And when right. the rental goes up, it gives the hedging of your investment, right? Exactly. So these are the few uh, things which which is very very, uh, um, uh, what do you call that? Uh, positive. With the exactly. Investment. I just want to add certain lines uh, on what you said. Is you can't build earth on earth. Another thing is in stocks. Though you make millions, but intangible you can't see. But what if you own a building and stand in front of it, and you say, you know what? I own it. Like you know, there is a prestige. Absolutely. And on top of that living in somebody's home rather than living in your home there's a huge difference but quickly i just want to ask you a very last question you said tangible real estate what do you think about pre-construction investments in real estate so today you buy a pre-construction and then it turns into tangible within two to three years that's for exactly what the real estate is tangible right yes. and um, uh, ultimately it becomes tangible right now you are buying it in a yes. But that is going to become tangible in two to three years anyways, right? So, but you are also taking an advantage of the market appreciation, right? Because you are buying that pre-construction at present rate, right? And after two to three years, when the market value goes up, then you pay, um, uh, you are paying lesser than what the market value would be, right? But you have to be careful about, about that one because right now, the market, we don't know what the market is. It can be, so whoever is... You have to do your homework uh, in course. whatever you, you are buying. Of course. Right? Yeah. Thank you very much, Amin. Thank you for joining us. Viewers, as you heard, Amin said quite well, always buy real estate and invest your money in real estate in a tangible form. We'll go on a quick break. Stay with us. Buy low and sell high with Zia Abbas. Hi, I'm Zia Abbas, president and owner of World Class Realty Point Brokerage. I did like to ask you a few questions. Does your current brokerage offer you multiple locations? Sales training, CRM software, fresh website content, and social media exposure? Access to all exciting pre-construction condo and low-rise homes projects, all for no additional fee. Call me with the confidence to join World Class Realty Point. I will show you how to increase your business and your income in the world of pre-construction while doing resale homes and condos. Are you confused about the new mortgage rules that you may or may not qualify for your mortgage or for your next investment property? Do you need expert mortgage advice? Call Team Salman today to get the right advice and find out how you can qualify for the mortgage you deserve. Call today or visit us at www.teamsalman.com. We deliver mortgage. ABN is a full-service boutique accounting firm. ABN can provide you with a range of financial and advisory services that can help create, build, and protect value. 
See beyond the numbers. CPAs can do so much more. One name stands apart in the real estate world, Zia Abbas. For over 20 years, Baker Real Estate has been proud to represent the most successful new construction condominium developers in Toronto. When you buy through Baker, you know you've bought the best. Abrahams LLP. We provide services in corporate law, civil litigation, and real estate. We are lawyers to Toronto's entrepreneur. Today I scheduled my meeting with uh, Elliot Tope, President of uh, International Home Marketing. Today in particular, I'm going to speak to Elliot about Fernbrook and Citizen Projects, which are under the umbrella of International Home Marketing. And let's see what Elliot has today for us. Hi Elliot, how are you? Hey Zia, welcome. Thank you. Good, Good to, to see, see you. You too, you too. So Elliot, uh, I know you guys are working, uh, International Home Marketing is closely working with Fernbrook and Citizen uh, on, on several projects. Mm -hmm. So A, what kind of projects you guys have um, under the umbrella of International Home Marketing and what kind of incentives you guys offer? Well, I'm glad you came to see yeah. me today. I mean, first off, the relationship with yes. Fernbrook Citizen goes back years, uh, right to the iconic buildings in Mississauga, exactly. Absolute, that everybody yes. knows so well. Yes. Currently, we're on two different files with yeah. them. So we're doing Pier 27, yeah. uh, which there's three phases, and yeah. we talked about the successful launch of Phase 3 in the fall of uh, yes. 2015. But what's really exciting, and we held back some of the stuff in the first two phases to the very end because we knew that people would want to see them first off built yeah. and that the views down at the water were so spectacular that just showing it to you on paper would never do justice. Yes. So there is some very limited inventory in phase one and phase two. And these are not your typical small type units. We've got some townhouses, yeah. penthouse units mm. that are just absolutely amazing. Uh, large square footages, 2,000 square feet, and these are million dollar homes down on the lake. And right now we're running an exceptional special incentive. So what I would really suggest is for your clients, if they're interested in it, to get in touch with you and they can come down. They can tour through the amenities of the building, see yes. the pool, see exactly what they're buying into yes. in this lifestyle down there. And as far as phase three goes, uh, we had what I would consider probably one of the most successful fall launches in, in Toronto Definitely. Uh, last year, but there is still some suites left. I mean, the building is absolutely huge. Yes. Uh, so there are some suites and we're running an incentive program right now on some limited floor plans, which is a maintenance free program. Okay. So, and those, if you come down to the sales office and if your clients want to come down with yes. you, we can show you exactly which floor plans are still available. Uh, what the views are like. We've taken shots from there because yes. view is so important. Yes. And whether you're looking at the lake or you're looking down at the city, we've got something special for you down there. And the other thing, so you talked about Fernbrook and Citizen, and I'm really excited about this. And I always tell you I'm excited, but <laughs> this is special. I mean, 158 Front, yes. uh, St. Lawrence Market, Front Street, downtown Toronto, great neighborhood, walkability to everything. Um, we're involved with the project yes. and right now as we speak we're just finishing off a brand new sales office okay. for the project and we're going to be launching that uh, at the beginning of the spring. We're doing a model suite down there for it so people will be actually come in and see what they're getting. Uh, and that sales office is located just adjacent to the site so just west of the 158 okay. Front Street uh, site. It's all about affordability, right? Uh, next to St. Lawrence Market, a great district, uh, 
walking distance to water, uh, walking distance to financial district, right? You are in the vicinity of uh, university campuses, yes. George Brown, right? So I believe it's a great project, and then the price starts like you know just about three hundred thousand dollars plus, oh, I know. and it's a great value for yeah. money. Yeah, actually, as you were looking in, here's uh, to show you. This is some of the rendering stuff oh, that we're nice. working on, yeah. uh, bringing a new flavor to it, yes. St. Lawrence, because that yeah. is such an integral yeah. part yeah. of the site. Uh, down there, so I'm really excited. This is where that new sales office is, is heading into. So, so when it comes to Fernbrook and Citizen, so international marketing is doing pair 27, phase yes. one, phase two, phase three, even in phase three, two portions, podium yeah. and uh, and a tower, and then you guys are involved in 158 Front Street as well. Yeah, uh, I mean, we love working with those guys. They have a ton of stuff on the slate, and we we definitely hope to be uh, with them all the steps of the way. No, oh, great. Elliot, thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate it. Oh, I appreciate and you coming to yeah, see me here. Thanks a lot. Thanks, yeah. Viewers, uh, phase one and two is purely for those who wants to live. It's a big unit. It's a large unit. It's very next to a water, million dollar plus. But if you want to invest in a small unit, phase three might be the best bet for you if you're a water lover at the foot of Young Street. 158 Front Street, as we discussed, it is in a in a in a dot where in the surrounding areas are all pluses against your investment. If you want to buy a condominium in downtown, just starting three hundred thousand dollars, very important to give me a call, set him an appointment. I'll take you at the side office, and we'll go from there. We'll go on a quick break. Stay with us. Buy low and sell high with Zia Abbas. Viewers, I'm sitting with Robert Lee, Information and Marketing Manager for Reality Point. We have a lot of things to discuss from Reality Point platform. Robert, how are you? I'm great, Sia. Thank you for inviting me out to Oshawa here. No, thank you very much, uh, Robert. I know a great excitement is the Realtor Quest. Yes. It is one of the biggest event throughout here, if you can see a great platform for brokers, for realtors to, to gang together and find it out what's happening in the industry. And Reality Point has a great participation in that Realtor Quest. Can you share a little bit with audience what this Realtor Quest is all about? Sure, Zia. On May 4th and May 5th in the Toronto Congress Centre, TREB holds their annual Realtor Quest uh, it's actually a three-day, four-day event where they have yeah. training before the, the show. We'll be there for the show at booth 417 on the 4th and the 5th of May. What is the overall purpose behind it? Well, we want to showcase our own services as far as a real estate brokerage franchiser. And we want to give the top producing brokers and the agents an opportunity to come and talk to us in a much lower pressure environment. Okay. There's going to be so many booths there. I know that Treb anticipates somewhere in the neighborhood of eight to 12,000 people walking through the doors over those couple of days. So it's going to be a great opportunity just to come in, say hi, what do you guys offer, drop off your business card and be on your way without setting up a formal interview or, or consultation about opening your own brokerage. You know, it's springtime. There's several things that are very important as spring approaches, warmer weather and taxes. Yes. And when the tax time hits, we have a lot of inquiries from real estate agents saying, why is this happening to me again this year? Well, the overall thing is you're self-employed. You're not a business owner of an incorporated brokerage. Moving to Realty Point, we cover office space. We cover admin staff, all for a low fee. And you now have your own incorporated entity that pays you. So the amount of tax deductions and benefits that lawyers have, that doctors have, now come your way. Robert, I 100% agree with you. I, and I, you know what, to be quite honest, I was speaking to someone this morning and a, the person who is a realtor was quite an excited uh, person today when he got to know that now he is a broker. Uh, he cleared his broker uh, um, uh, examination. He's very keen to see in this market what's available for him. And the very first thing he did was he picked the phone and called me for a Reality Point franchise. 
And he said, Zia, there is no model even closer to reality point. Number one, you would be a broker owner for your own accomplishment. Number two, you are not paying overheads at the, as the other brokerages are paying. Number three, you save a lot of money on taxes. Average of 46% plus to 15 and a half. So that's a substantial uh, savings. And then on top of that, which is the most important, access to product. All 43,000 realtors knows today that they are competing among themselves, 43,000 agents in a real estate where majority of the practice goes into resale. Right now, we have the best footing, the best, best penetration into a world of a pre-construction. Either it's a low-rise homes or it's high-rise condominiums. We have a good access into that project, into those projects, where it's a great opportunity for these realtors to make lots of money. So the model for Realty Point brings a lot of ingredients, a lot of elements. If you gang them together, that would turn into a really amazing uh, stuff, like you know, outcome of that whole ingredient would be purely in a favor of that individual, that broker. If you are a realtor or if you have a plan to take a brokerage package from us, it is very important to visit us on May 4th and May 5th in a Toronto Congress Center, Mississauga, and our booth number would be 417-417. Me and my whole team would be there. If you have any questions, concerns, we'd be more than happy to sit with all of you one-to-one -one and further discuss. And to some reason, if you guys don't make it on those two days, then we are only one phone call away to discuss. Uh, lots of top producers, they came, they sat with us, they studied the whole product, and they became so confident. And end of the day, they are with us. They are a part of us. And we are running Realty Point Real Estate Franchise as one family and we are growing on day-to-day -day basis. We'll take a break. Stay with us. Hi, I'm Zia Bas, the president and owner of Realty Point Franchise. I invite you to make this year the year you become the boss for yourself through real estate ownership. Our brokerage franchises pay low per transaction fee to have access to office space, deal administrative, meeting space, all at no additional cost. Top producing brokers can save thousands of dollars in annual income taxes through brokerage ownership. Isn't it time you added owner, president, and broker of record to your own accomplishment? Call me with the confidence. For over 20 years, Baker Real Estate has been proud to represent the most successful new construction condominium developers in Toronto. When you buy through Baker, you know you've bought the best. Welcome to 1215 York Mills at the Ravine. Tower One offers modern one, two, and three bedroom suites from the mid 200s, owned from 1235 per month, free parking included. Next to the Don Valley Parkway, close to Fairview Mall, shops of Don Mills, schools, and parks. Limited time offer, 8% interest on your deposit or up to $15,000 in upgrades. Presentation Center and Model Suite, 1213 York Mills Road. Call 416-850-2489 or visit the ravine.ca. ABN is a full-service boutique accounting firm. ABN can provide you with a range of financial and advisory services that can help create, build, and protect value. See beyond the numbers. CPAs can do so much more. This is John. John recently set up his own real estate brokerage. But he got so overwhelmed by all the administration involved in running his office that he never had time to sell any real estate. So John turned to Realty Point, who took over all the administration for his business, like answering calls, coordinating deals, 
and reconciling accounts and made all the hassle go away. So John can get on with what he does best, selling real estate. Want to be just like John? Call now for your confidential consultation. Abrahams LLP. We provide services in corporate law, civil litigation, and real estate. We are lawyers to Toronto's entrepreneur. Hi, I'm Zia Bas, and proudly introduce Pair 27 Phase 3 at the foot of Young Street with an amazing water view. This 35 story building has just over 400 units. If you really want to see a great views from your balcony, this is the project you have to follow. Call me with the confidence to secure your allocation to buy low and sell high. Viewers, it's time to say bye, but before I wrap the program, I just want to share one thing. If you really want to achieve something in life, like, you know, other than the routine uh, earnings you do, it's very important that you have to have a capacity to take some calculated risk factor. Calculated risk factor always happens in the world of real estate. That's what everybody, even if you are sitting among your circle in a social gathering anywhere, I guess the second best discussion is always for real estate. And I, I think Torontonians or say Canadians in particular, if you can talk to them, they made good wealth in real estate, even in their own principal home, the least. So always consider to invest in real estate, but keep sending your emails, your uh, phone calls, make phone calls. And if you have any concerns, questions, call me or send me an email. We always try our best to keep your questions as a part of a program. The purpose of this program is to bring as much information as possible. These information would like, you know, boost up your confidence because this confidence may bring uh, a, a lot of like, you know, value for you and there will be a day when you become one of the best or one of the biggest investor here in town. I'll meet all of you next week. Stay blessed and bye. Buy low and sell high with